Out of late. We're here with Jeff Stagg, a class manager of the FAR 40 class, a uh, conic class in, in sailing history, uh, been also long association with Key West. Jeff, let's start with that. Talk about the many years of FAR 40 sailing here in Key West. It's kind of like uh, one in the set, the, you know, two go together well. Oh, absolutely, Bill. You know, Key West is the event. You know, it's the event for most sailors in the world. I mean, without Key West, uh, you know, our industry and our, our sailing game would be, you know, would be in a bad spot. You know, Peter's got a lot to, to be thanked for. So, you know, we've been bringing the 40s here now for, gosh, 16 years. Oh. We still hold the record for the most boats. We had 40 boats on the line back in, wow, I think it was 19... 99 somewhere around that area but uh, 40 40 footers well I've been doing Key West race week for a long time as far as the PR side of things and great racing in the far 40 class I can't remember too many years that it didn't come down to the last race the last day what are some of your memories of the racing and some of the great battles that we've had here in Key West well un unquestionably last year was just a classic um, you know, Wolfgang Schaefer and Angela Schaefer went into the last day with quite a nice lead and Jim Richardson came from behind to win it on a count back. It, that was absolutely incredible. He had a one bad result where he lost his four deck over the side. And of course, with no drops in the Far 40 class, that was a big recovery. That was one of the glamours. I mean, there's been so many from George Andriatis to Vincenzo Honorato, but, but I, that one was, that one to me was amazing. Now, obviously, the, one of the great things about the FAR 40 class, every great sailor in the world has come through this class. I mean, you name them, Russell Coots, Terry Hutchinson, the best of the best, and obviously some great owners. You mentioned Vincenzo Honorato, Jim Richardson. Uh, we once had a prince that was an owner, a Danish prince was an owner of a FAR 40. Uh, can he just no, talk? he still owns it. He does still own it. He'll, he'll, and he'll be back We'd like to get him back Miami. down here. He's okay. a, he'll be in Miami, so... You know, he's, he's had a little bit of a hiatus with kids. Right. You know, had a lot of kids, and he's a great guy, but he's still got his boat, and he's back competing. Now, uh, obviously, we're not as quite as many boats as the heyday, but I understand that with the the World Championships being recently held, that was quite an expense for the owners. Do you expect that the numbers for the FAR 40 will go up again next year in Key West? Yeah, I, I, I it's hard to always forecast that. Bill. Yes. I mean, you look at the economy. And that has so much to do with it. You know, I, I personally, I think it's all interconnected, you know, with the confusion in Washington and, and just the economy in general. Every class is down. I mean, right. you look at here, um, you know, apart from perhaps the, 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 the J-70s right. with 39 boats, I think it is. You look at the, look at the 52s with six. The far 40s with six. Melgis 3210. Yeah, the Melgis 3210. Um, and, you know, a great fleet from the Swan 42s with seven. Mm -hmm. You know, so you never know going forward. But we do know, you know, we had a great event in Chicago with 22 boats. And we are going to be in Newport this year in, in August. And we're expecting plus 20 there as well. All the indications are very solid for that. You know, I think that a lot of people are still hanging low. Right, waiting you for know, it to write. Just waiting. I think I don't necessarily think it's the money. I think it's just the perception. Right. You know, that's going on in the U.S. at the moment, where perhaps wealth is not a good thing. Right, right. <laughs> and and I think that's why you see these numbers where they are. But 121 votes is still fantastic. Right. And you know, again, I can't compliment Peter and his team enough for keeping this event going and quantum as you know the sponsor of the event deserve a big tick too so you know looking at it going forward we're going to have nine boats hopefully in miami next uh, in march and then we'll go to annapolis and we hope to have 12. Mm -hmm. we'll go to Egertown where we hope to have 15 18 boats and then into newport for the worlds where we expect over 20. right and we'll be very happy with that now, the competition here this year has been good. I was talking to Terry Hutchinson. We're, we're here on Wednesday, Barking Mad Leads, uh, going into today. Uh, Terry Hutchinson said in four races, the boat that led at the top mark did not end up winning. Talk a little bit. You've been out on the water. Talk about the competition you're seeing, Jeff. Yeah, I tell you what, six boats, but they're at each other, dog on dog. Right. And it, it, it's just the normal, classic, far 40 scenario. The boats are so equal. I mean, it's scary to watch them in operation. And, you know, with the weather conditions a little bit up and down, you know, you're seeing a lot of place changes 
in the class. So uh, I, I, it's going to be a normal event. You know, yeah. he's going to be down to the last day, and uh, I have to, I have to think that you know, Jim is feeling really good to have Terry back. And yes. It's great to see him back in the class and enjoying himself. And he's, he's a very supportive, you know, guy for the class. He, he loves racing the 40s because the, 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 the racing is so close, Bill. Right. You know, it's like there's nowhere else gets that. Right. Well, that's what Terry said, that when you get the lead, it's hard to hold it because they're nipping at your heels. They get yeah. on you on the downwind and take your air. And well, it's just hard to hold off these you guys. Know, the first day was really unfortunate because the 40s came into the backside of the the 400s, right. you know, and that was really quite bad because, you know, John DeMarcus was leading the race and unfortunately they'd caught up five minutes to the 400s. Right, and he got and, pushed back and apparently. And he got pushed back, you know, people were tech, you know, jiving on him downwind and so, lack of, not luckily, but, you know, gratefully, Peter opened up the course, you know, the, the separation right. between the and two Make sure classes. that didn't happen anymore, right. So that didn't happen again, so yesterday they started seven minutes behind, so they had a cleaner race course so I think you're going to see <laughs> right it's going to be all on again well John DeMarcus won his first far 40 regatta in Annapolis this past year but he seems to have really stepped up his game and he's right in the mix with Cameron Appleton as his tactician uh, Wolfgang solid but I mean that's a barking mad Strungy Light and uh, Gruvederci appear to be the, the, the three boats really battling right now yeah unfortunately Enfantera Bell with Alberto Rossi is you know he's had a few crew changes and it's, you know he's not going as well as he has in the past so we'll right. see about going forward but I as I understand it Vasco Viscotti will be his tactician going forward for the balance of the year right and so I'm expecting him to be extremely competitive right going forward for the balance of the year but you know with these boats the, the crew is so incredibly important just to gel and get everything right I mean the boats are identical and it, it's all down the boat doesn't know where to go Right. You know, somebody's got to tell it where to go. Exactly. And the other guys have got to make it go as fast as you know as they as they can to where the tactician tells them to go. Right. And so it, it's all fascinating. But our guys, we had an owners meeting last night, and they're so tight. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just so behind the class, love the class. And it's good. Well, so we expect another uh, regatta in which it's going to go down to the last leg of the last race to the last day, Jeff. Yes. <laughs> Thank. You.